Hello everyone, welcome to the first video in the creation category of Starship Tutorials. This video will be a tour of the blank Starship sheet. If you're already familiar with this tool, feel free to skip to the next video. So for these tutorials, I'm going to be referencing items on the blank Starship sheet, which you can copy for your own use. So let's go ahead and grab it. We go over to Assets, like I said in the Resources tutorial, Drake Shipyard. There we go. And the blank Starship sheet copy this for your own use uh, when you're signed in I'm not actually signed in so I'm not gonna be able to demonstrate this but you go up to file and then you go to make a copy uh, alternatively alternatively you can also download it as like an Excel document so I'll be using this sheet to explain ship creation because it's an invaluable tool that eliminates a lot of the busy work that you would otherwise need to do in other words this tool is a lifesaver you'll notice that the blank starship sheet has four tabs a list of ships which is currently blank, automation, which is full of this stuff, the starship sheet itself, which is what you're going to be working in most of the time, and an example uh, ship, the T-65 X-Wing. The list of ships does exactly what it says on the tin. This is where you can list out your designs and sort through them using the filters across the top. You can add another information for ships as well, such as classification, size, tier, and so on. The next tab is automation. Do not delete this tab. This tab houses all of the values used in the drop down menus on the ship sheet. Lastly, we come to the tab called Starship Sheet. This is where you'll start putting your ship together. To actually use it, create a duplicate of the tab and rename it. This way, you always have a blank tab ready to go whenever you need it. And this is something you'll be able to do when you've actually um, copied this over for your own use. You'll just right click on Starship Sheet, you'll select Duplicate it, and then it'll say like uh, a new um, tab will pop up. It'll say like Starship Sheet Copy, and you can just rename that to whatever you need to rename it to. So this sheet is arranged in clusters, so to speak. In the Statistics cluster, in the top left, you have your ship's size and tier, its armor class and damage reduction, its hull points and shield points, and its flying and turning speeds. To the right of that, you have the Ability Scores cluster, housing the ship's Ability Scores, Saving Throw Proficiencies, and Skill Proficiencies. This cluster also houses information about the ship's Reactor and Power Coupling, and its Tier 0 role. This Tier 0 role is similar to the Ability Score increases you get from choosing your character's species in the ground game. Below the Ability Score cluster is the Capacities cluster, which is a collection of useful information about your ship's fuel capacity, fuel cost, recharge force, refit time, etc. The key things you'll want to take note of here are the NPC crew proficiency bonus, if you're a GM, crew or housing, which dictates how many people your ship can properly fit inside of, minimum crew, which is self-explanatory, docking bay units, which determine how many other starships your ship's docking bays can hold, and mechanics shop units, which determine how many droids and constructs your ship can carry. Droids can also be stored in droid storage suites. All of the modifications listed here impact these capacities. Below this, we have the Weapons Cluster, which is where you select weapons for your ship. This cluster will display the weapon's type, ammunition, if applicable, has toggles for the expanded payload and pinpointing edition mods, and will display a weapon's range, attack modifier, save DC, damage dice, damage modifier, damage type, and weapon properties. To the left of the Weapons Cluster is the Modifications Cluster. This lists your maximum number of fire actions, which I explained in an earlier video, your available suite and modification slots, and has a list for you to write down all of your ship's mods. At the bottom of the list, is, there's space for free modifications, which come from Tier 2 or Tier 4 ship features. Below the Modifications Cluster is the Equipment Cluster. This is where you mark down the type and amount of weapons your ship has, your ship's armor and shield types, hyperdrive types, reactor and power coupling types, and ammunition for cluster, missile, or torpedo launchers or bomb deployers. To the right of this cluster is the Features Cluster, which has the effects of your ship's tier features written out conveniently for you. For tiers 2 and 4, you will have drop-down menus for the different feature choices. There is also a drop-down menu on tier 5 for small ships. Finally, to the left of this cluster and below the Equipment Cluster, 
you have the space to list out your ship's complement, and also a calculation of your ship's price, which is something that may change in the near future. This may all seem like a daunting task now that we've gone through the sheet, but don't fret. The sheet is really easy to use, makes experimentation easy, and it has the added bonus of acting as a, a sort of checklist, showing what you have and have not done. And that's all for this video. I hope it was helpful and informative, and I'll see you on the next one.